What are some other uh, of your really cool, innovative projects that you could share with us? Like projects meaning tools that you built out of what you had that, what, for what you needed. What about the what about the drinker for the cattle with livestock? Uh, well, yesterday we just put a uh, set up a solar panel, and we bought one of those little twelve volt uh, water heater elements. And uh, we drilled a hole in the ice in my little goldfish pond out front for my practice pond. And we dropped that in there to see uh, if it'd at least keep a uh, a hole in the ice, you know, uh -huh. melted. Because um, the dogs are always looking, they're always licking ice, you know, sure. and chewing on snow. And and uh, we have two small little flocks of chickens that we open range <clears throat> out in the field. And they're out there chipping away at the edge of the uh the rubber liner for the, my little pond, yeah. that's black, so it absorbs more sun, so you melt a little oh. bit of water around the edge there. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we put in a, a little um, solar um, solar powered, put a little bank of two batteries under the solar panels, and um, I didn't get a chance to check it this morning. Mm. Uh, later, two hours after dark, the little element still felt warm to the touch for yeah. what the batteries could do. So that's one, but as far as for a... Uh, a watering trough type thing, you know, you can put a, uh, the ideal thing would be is if you could take a uh, a ball and inject it with salt water, mostly partly, throw that into your watering tank. So the salt water in it prevents the ball from freezing. Mm -hmm. And then that causes, uh, when it semi floats at the surface, the animals can learn to come and just push on the ball mm -hmm. with their nose, pushes it down, and they get a flush of water to, yeah. to drink and you can keep a, a water trough open and you know, that's a neat water trick. Mm.